So what we'll do is we'll turn on RIP, and we'll have RIP. Um, we'll turn RIP on on both routers, and they will exchange routes dynamically, automatically, and then we should be able to ping. So the first thing we'll do is we'll do this router. So we'll click on the router, and we'll say configure terminal. And now we will say router rip to turn on rip. And then we have to give it the networks that it's going to advertise the networks and also the interfaces that it's going to go out of. So we'll say network 10.0.0.0. Notice you cannot put in a subnet mask when you're giving the networks that rip's going to participate with. Um, it only takes the network number. So we'll hit enter. And then I'm going to use the up arrow. And then the two network, the three network, and the four network. Okay, so now RIP is functioning on this router. Now, if we wanted to, now RIP is sending. RIP updates or RIP advertisements, the RIP routing table, it's going to send its routing table out of all interfaces. So now this router is sending RIP routing tables out of each interface every 30 seconds, right? Because we told it the networks that we want to participate, and this network's on this interface, so it's sending routing tables out here, and it's sending routing tables out of here, and it's sending routing updates out of here, and routing tables out of here. So it's talking. So now we turn RIP on on the, um, we really only need RIP to send its routing table across this network to this other router. So it's sending it out of here unnecessarily, and we can get rid of that by using a passive interface command by going into the interface and turning that off. But right now it's not necessary. We'll just configure RIP on this router. So go to this router and we'll do the same thing. Okay, I go to global config mode, turn on RIP, okay, and now I've got to give it the networks, right? Now the first network it's connected to to the other router is network 10.0.0.0, right? Hit enter. The next network that it has is 192.168.1.0 network. Now this is slash 26, but I can't put in a subnet mask with RIP version 1. So I just hit enter. Now this is going to be interesting. The next network is 1.64, which is subnetted, right? Of course, RIP's not going to understand the 64. So this is actually going to um, this is going to be uh, futile, but we'll do it anyway. So we'll put it in there. And then the last network is 1.128. And we'll do that. Now this is where it, it's interesting. If we go to our running config, show running config, you'll see, and I'll hit spacebar to go down my config, that router rip is configured and the network 10, and you can see that it took the three networks for 192.168.1 and consolidated them into just one network, network 192.168.1.0, because it only functions classfully. So it assumes that the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So even though I put in three networks, it sees only one network. So here this is the essentially the summary network, right? And this is what it's going to advertise to the other router. So if we go to the routing table of the router on the right, we'll see what we see. Click here, I'll do control C, show IP route. You can see that the router on the right hand side has learned of one route. You can see the R here. It's learned about the 192.168.1 network via the next top interface 10.0.0.1. So it has successfully learned about the one network and can route to the one network. Now, there's actually 
three networks over here, the 1.0, 1.64, and 1.128, but it doesn't matter because as long as this router sends to the one network, when the packets actually get to this router, this router will be able to deliver it to the subnetted connected networks. So let's see if that works. Let's see if this computer can contact this computer. So we'll go here, run a command prompt, ping, 192.168.1.2 and you can see that the reply happens right likewise it'll work going the other way as well you can see here that ping 2.100 and you can see a reply there so there's successful communications rip has auto summarized the routes these three routes basically because it doesn't know any better. It can only really advertise the 192.168.10 network when it advertises across. Now can it can it can the router functionally deliver to the three different subnets? Yes. But it's going to summarize the route going across as a 192.168.10 network because it do, cannot put in a non-standard or non-classful subnet mask of a slash 26. So it defaults to a slash 24.